Hello traders, in this video we will look at three different traders and their journey from the challenge all the way to being funded. Once again, hello traders, I'm Simon from FTMO and if you are new here, what we are doing is that we are funding successful traders that are able to pass our evaluation process. What we are doing today is a little bit different and that is the whole journey from the challenge to the verification and to the FTMO account. So you will see here a full journey of three different traders from the initial phase to being funded and even receiving some profit splits. So without further ado, let's do this. Now, since I will be going over nine different accounts, uh, it is necessary for me to go a little bit faster. So it might be that I will miss some of the details. So anyway, this challenge started in March and the balance curve so far looks quite okay. Uh, you can see that this trader finished in just tra 10 trading days. Uh, otherwise, there is nothing really that special in the trading objectives. Uh, let's talk about his average risk growth ratio and win rate since like this is probably the most important thing in the statistics his win rate is 50 percent so basically a coin flip but his average risk growth ratio is 2.5 and that is just great this trader is not trading that high of a volume and that's completely fine with us if you are trading safe it's very good he is using stop losses and take profits mostly uh, for example here he is using just stop loss not take profit for some reason uh, but also that's completely fine he is holding most of the trades overnight as you can see right here in this column he is paying those swaps uh, here is a positive swap uh, that is also possible and he's mostly profiting on going short not really buying and truly he's mostly profiting on forex and that is euro and japanese yen and other forex pairs uh, but these are not really major profits uh, and some minor losses of course so overall uh, that's just normal standard challenge and uh, what is really good here is the high average risk growth ratio i mean 2.5 is in my book considered quite good okay so now let's look at the verification oh and by the way you can see that we have hidden numbers of each account and that is because of course we don't want to put more pressure on these traders because they are still trading on their ftm accounts so that is the reason why anyway the verification here uh, looks quite okay from the balance curve he took just 13 trades so i mean maybe he is a swing trader of some sort i don't know of course um, regarding the trading objectives still passed in just 10 days and when i scroll down here to the statistics uh, the average risk growth ratio is actually here super outstanding it is 18.6 uh, and the win rate is 30%. But keep in mind that this number is probably a little bit skewed or skewed quite a lot uh, because this trader made just 13 trades and that's not really a good sample uh, from which you can evaluate your average risk growth ratio. So just know that. I would say that you need at least like 100 or even 1000. The more you have, uh, the better, of course. Uh, the more trades you can take into consideration the better a result you will have so just as i said that this is probably skewed uh, but still he made those big profits and that's really good now regarding the instruments this trader traded still mostly forex uh, actually just very few forex pairs as far as i can see uh, some of the days he held them overnight uh, but mostly not really now down here there is a little bit of a difference and that is that he is profiting as much on selling as he is on buying or there is some minor difference of course uh, but at least that is going on for him. And right here you can see all of the symbols that he traded and it's actually quite nicely distributed across all the symbols and that is Euro Japanese Yen, Euro USD, USD Japanese Yen and New Zealand Dollar and USD. So still quite nice verification. Now let's finally look at the FTM account. All right, so this is quite interesting balance curve. Uh, it changes quite a lot as far as I can see. Uh, he is already trading for like 45 days. Uh, he actually started in May. This is just how many uh, days he opened a position. And so far this month or rather uh, from his last profit split date, uh, he made four thousand and three hundred dollars 
So that's of course quite good in my opinion. Uh, and if we scroll down here, you can actually see uh, that his current equity is different from the balance. And that is of course because he has some positions running currently. Now his average risk to ratio is 2.6. Now that's more realistic, not 18.6. Uh, and his win rate is 36%. So since he executed 69 trades, this is more of a reliable result. Uh, and I think that this can be quite accurate. And together combined, that is still probably profitable strategy. You could also notice that this trader took it really slowly and carefully. And it wasn't until trade number 29 uh, where uh, some more action was going on. All right. Uh, and regarding his uh, win rate, which is quite low, but still combined with 2.6 average risk reward ratio, it's profitable strategy in the long run. Um, I mean, it could be a little bit higher, it always can be, uh, but it, it, if it works for you, uh, just keep it that way. Now, scrolling down here, still seeing mostly Forex, uh, you can notice that almost always he is setting those stop losses. Uh, sometimes, for example, right here, he is not using uh, take profit for some reason. Maybe he is just managing his risk, but he is letting those profits run as far as they can go. Of course, we don't know because we don't know exact strategy that this trader is using. But overall, it's quite nice, consistent trading. And that's the main goal here. Uh, now he is profiting mostly on shorts, uh, but also on buying. So no issue here. And most profits were made on British pound and Japanese yen so far. Because as you know, he is still trading. All right, so I hope that this trader will keep this progress up and we will be looking forward to seeing more of his trading. All right, so this is another challenge and right away you can see that it is finished in just 10 trading days. Uh, now we have seen some comments on our YouTube channel that um, 30 days for passing the challenge is not enough. Uh, you know, most traders are not even using their full trading period. So in those cases, it wouldn't really help anyway. And either way, if you do not manage to uh, hit your profit target, but you are still in some profit and you meet the rest of the trading objectives, uh, you are eligible for a free repeat of the challenge. So it shouldn't really be an issue. So that way you can still wait for those profitable setups. Anyway, you can see that he even made $700 uh, more than he was required to. Uh, this trader also had quite nice uh, win rate, which is almost 70%. That is just great. And combined with average risk reward ratio of 1.38, uh, this, is, this is a very profitable strategy still. Uh, if this was even just 50% in the, long, in the long run, this would be still profitable. Down here, you can see all kinds of stuff traded. Uh, what stands out the most is probably uh, the S&P 500 right here, uh, mostly Forex. Uh, there is I think even crypto, which I have seen right here, I think. But mostly this trader is trading Forex. Now, interesting thing here is that this trader is not setting stop loss here, uh, but he is or she is uh, using uh, take profit. The same is the case, for example, here, but it is the other way around right here and right here. So that's interesting. Most of the profits were made on going short, uh, not really on buying. Actually on buying, there are some minor losses. Uh, and truly the most, the single most profitable instrument here is certainly S&P. 500. Okay, so let's look at the verification now. The development in the verification is much more interesting. Uh, you can see sort of U-shape uh, balance curve or almost cup and handle, I guess, but it's not like it means anything really. Uh, and still it was finished in just 10 training days. Um, in the training objectives, there is really nothing uh, that interesting, but the risk reward ratio is 1.5 and the win rate is 50%. So that's essentially a coin flip probability. Uh, but you can see that it is still profitable. This trader pretty much traded the same instruments here. Uh, he added to his S&P 500 or her S&P 500 even Dow Jones uh, as far as I can see. But I do not see any other index so just these two and he or she is still trading forex uh, and most of the trades are executed on intraday basis 
The same is true here as in the challenge, and that is that this trader mostly profited on selling and not really on buying, so maybe uh, this trader should um, avoid buying. And once again, the single most profitable instrument here is S&P 500 with $5,500 profit. Now, if you look at Dow Jones, it is still quite profitable, so maybe this trader uh, can specialize in trading indices. Now, when we look at his FTOM account, let's see what we got here. All right, so he or she executed quite many trades already. Uh, and if you want to know how much was paid out already to this trader, you basically take this last number. So that is uh, 21,000 and a half and subtract 4,000 and multiply it by 0 0.7. And that should be around $11,000. So from the 20th of May, this trader received from FTMO uh, $11,000 already. And I think that's pretty great. Of course, if this trader will not end up this month in a loss or something, uh, he or she will be eligible for the scaling plan. So the initial capital will increase by 25%. That's another benefit. So from the balance curve, we can assume that this trader is doing quite all right, in my opinion. And uh, regarding the average risk rate ratio, still around 1.5 and still around 50% win rate. So you can see consistency right here. Regarding the instruments, pretty much the same thing, some Forex uh, and those indices, so S&P 500 uh, and even gold as far as I can see. Now this time it is the other way around and uh, he or she is mostly profiting on buying instead of selling, but still profiting on selling also. And down here you can see in the symbols uh, that the single most profitable one is GJ, then is Euro USD and S&P 500. All right, so this is it for this trader. Uh, I hope that we will see more results like this and that this trader is able to keep it up. And let's look at another one. All right, so we know that this trader already has multiple FTMO accounts. Uh, so let's look, for example, at this journey right here. The balance curve looks a little bit like a roller coaster, but you know, at least it's interesting and it worked out for this trader, so that's fine. Still traded just for 10 trading days. Um, max daily loss was actually really close to being breached here, uh, but it worked out out just fine so that's great probably this trader managed the risks and uh, set up his stop loss just so he will not hit the max daily loss and that's great but of course we will check out the stop losses later now uh, the average risk rate ratio is 1.94 so almost two risk rate ratio uh, and win rate was still almost coin flip probability so that is 53 percent now for the most part Stop losses are used uh, and if the stop loss is not used, not even take profit is used for some reason. Uh, but for example here, this trader is using stop loss and not uh, take profit. So probably this trader manages risks very nicely. And if you know something about the evaluation process, it is that managing risks is actually more important than making super high profits. Now down here, he or she is profiting mostly on selling, uh, a little bit on buying, so that's still great. And there is a specialization and that is on Forex pairs with Japanese Yen included. So GJ, Euro Japanese Yen and USD and Japanese Yen. Now the verification looks way, way more boring. And that is of course because at this point, uh, the profit target was met and there was probably no motivation to trade more. Uh, but even so, there were some more trades here and there and uh, that's quite respectable. So actually, uh, on the profit target, this trader made $650 more than he was required to or she was required to uh, and that's quite good. But it is absolutely not necessary to make more than you are required to. Uh, now, regarding the statistics, the average risk rate ratio is really just unreal. But that is because this trader took just 18 trades uh, and the win rate is 77%. Uh, so this is, this is totally skewed and that is because just uh, not many trades were executed. Now when I look down here in the trading journal, uh, actually his profit target was reached on multiple instruments. So that's quite nice. It's not like this trader used just one big trade uh, to finish the entire of the verification. So that's still quite respectable. And it was done mostly on USD and Japanese Yen and then uh, some trades on Euro and Japanese Yen and GJ right here. So 
as far as I can see, still like three Forex pairs. Down here, there is a nice distribution between buying and selling in regards to profit. And still, there is a specialization in Forex pairs with Japanese yen. And finally, let's look at the FTMO account. Now let's just calculate the profit that was already paid out to this trader. Uh, so we take this number, that's almost $29,000, uh, subtract $7,700 and multiply it by 0 0.7. And I think that this gives us around $15,000, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, and that's completely fine. Uh, but if that is the case, that is really nice profit that was paid out since 15th of June. Uh, and yeah, now the next profit split, this trader is waiting for 70% of $7,700. So that's still outstanding profit in my opinion. As you already know, we have no set profit target on the FTMO account. Uh, so whatever you make, you take 70% of that. Now down here in the statistics, you can see uh, numbers that are not skewed. Uh, this is way more believable. So average risk rate ratio of 1.3, almost 1.3 and win rate of almost 64%. So that's still quite profitable strategy in the long run. I mean, as long as your win rate is above 50% and your average risk rate ratio at the same time is above one, your strategy should be profitable in the long run. Of course, you might encounter some really long losing streak, but what can you do? And in the trading journal, uh, the same forex pairs appear here. So that is USD and Japanese yen, Euro Japanese yen, uh, and of course GJ right here. Uh, some positions are held overnight, some not really. Uh, and most of the time stop losses are used. So really nice. This time the profits are stacked on going long and a little bit going short also, but not really that much. Uh, and yeah, you can see just four forex pairs here, uh, the three same ones that we have seen previously and additionally British Pound and USD. And uh, this trader is not really that profitable on that. All right, so this is it for these three FTMO traders. Uh, we wish them the best of luck going forward. Uh, of course, they have been paid out already and uh, hopefully we will see more results like this. So this is it for this video. If you have any sort of question for us, leave it down in the comment section. Of course, follow FTMO on social media and subscribe to our FTMO YouTube channel. And as always, trade safe.